let's talk controllers. AC Infinity. They have been coming out with new controllers, uh, left and right. This is just the Bluetooth controller, which is the 67. Uh, you can see the Bluetooth sign there. It has some additional functions that the old one didn't, um, as well as the Bluetooth connectivity. So what you can do is you can obviously you can set all of your settings. You can also do a timer setting on and off there. Um, off. You can set the cycle so many so many minutes or seconds on and then so long off. Cycle. You can have schedules where it kicks on at certain times and off have it just to set off and you can actually set I can do this up and down and CSS setting I can set it to where when it's not running it actually is running so it'll run at a low setting even when the auto setting is not kicked in so I'll put that back to zero because I don't personally use it your on setting that's how you set your maximum so mine is set to eight right now and then back to your auto settings in which you can scroll through and change uh, what, what your set points are. Okay, so that is the 67, right? All right, and here we are. This is what I believe is called the 529. This is like the original basic controller. Um, it has some of the same functions, but not all of them. Here's your auto mode. Alarm settings, on, off, and that's also the uh, dim setting. You have a timer setting, but I do believe, yeah, you just set how long it stays on. So it was set to a minute there, and now it's counting down. So it'll run for a minute, and then it'll shut off. It won't be a re repeat timer or anything like that. It's just a timer and then back to auto mode which is how most people are going to use it <clears throat> so that's your basic model um, and it'll do most everything you need to do unless you have a specific way you run, want to run your tent in which you have it fans on at certain times and off things like that but so versatile with the new controllers I will mention that I've done a little research on the website and all that. They've got the new 69 controller that's out. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's got some additional functions. But there is also a controller that's going to drop. I believe it's March. And it is Wi-Fi capable. So you can actually check from your phone on your tent what's running what's not what temperature humidity all that good stuff through the controller so that's going to be huge um i've held off on the 69 just for that reason because i'm going to wait till the wi-fi one comes out i'm going to purchase that one that way i have the ability to change set points and all those things um via my phone so Let's go and look at this other controller. I got a few things to say about it. Yeah. So, back to this one. This is the 67. The app that you download um, to control this Bluetooth through Bluetooth um, is actually a lot easier to set your points and has a little more options that you can go through and tweak things a little bit. It also tells you um, it has a tracker so it will give you a graph of what has been going on in the tent over a set period of time. You can change how you look at it three hours, six hours, whatever. Um, one day, one month. Uh, there are a few different options that it breaks down for you. It also gives you a BPD but if you're going to use the BPD always remember you have to check your leaf surface temperature with uh, uh, you know, a temperature gauge of sorts. 
and uh, you'll compensate for that. So in the app, there's a setting for you to change the difference between room temperature and leaf surface temp. So if you know anything about BPD, you know that you gotta calculate leaf surface temp. Um, I'm in <laughs> deep water culture, so it, my water is very cold majority of the time so therefore my leaf surface temperature is actually a little lower so I really have to pay attention to that so just something to keep in mind that the Bluetooth app is pretty sweet for this it really makes it nice um, the only thing I have noticed is I can't get this thing to turn off um, completely so it does glow in here a little bit at night which I haven't ran into any is issues with but the old controller had a setting where you could turn the screen completely off. I've inquired with AC Infinity about it. Um, we'll see where we get. So, but that is a few of their controllers that they've got. And I'll, I'll get you inside and show you what we've got this. You can see I've got two cords hooked to it there. You can see I've got two cords hooked to it there. And, uh... Those each run to a six inch inline fan. And then you have obviously that one is your thermostat that goes inside the tent at canopy level. Um, and it's gonna take your readings for temperature and humidity. So I'll take you in and we'll take a look at these fans and go from there. So here we've got the Cloudline T6 series which is a six inch AC infinity inline duct fan um, with carbon filter. I'm not running the sleeves. Um, it was just the way it worked out. I was washing them. So I got this set up before I got them out of the wash and I'm getting ready to replace the carbon filter. So I'm not worried about it, but these fans, I've got one at each end. They come up and out of the tent they Y together and then they go to an exterior vent with a backdraft damper so that no air can come in when it's not blowing out, if which you is look super here, important. This is where the other controller, my standard controllers, ran. This is just a four inch, um, no carbon filter or anything because that's just a little clone tent slash mother tent, doesn't get super stinky yet. If I need it, I'll throw a carbon filter on it. But that's going straight into the room, not exhausted out. It comes out right here. So it's literally just pulling that air out from the top of the tent only when it's needed, which isn't very often at that stage. They're not producing a lot of humidity. They're not transpiring a lot. Um, the lights aren't jacked all the way up, creating a whole bunch of heat. So that just goes in, uh, it's literally just sitting right on the other side of the inside cinch um, so it's not in the way in there or anything and that just comes up to that fan it sucks air out recirculates it into the room um, and this AC infinity tent is just a four by four got the window got the controller on her it's all set so I love this tent man it it works great I'm using it kind of for just you know, mother tent, let dash, clone tent, dash, makeshift, whatever I need it to be at the time, but it's working out great. Just having the extra tent, the extra fan, the controller, all that good stuff. So this thing is pretty sweet. It, it helps uh, keep the room a little warmer too in here because it is winter time. It gets pretty cold in here. I got a little heater running, but that's another thing to be said. That's a whole nother video but i guess i'll just drop the knowledge on you right now if you're watching this one heaters are probably the number one thing i feel like that new indoor growers they throw in their tent they don't expect it to they cover up the lights and they don't expect it to produce any light because they cover the lights well that element's going to glow and <laughs> it's going to produce light things like this so stick your heaters outside your tent guys don't put it inside your tent Especially if you're in the flowering stages, um, just just something to think about. Better yet, get inside your tent with all the lights off, 
and while all your equipment's running, just hang out in there for you know an hour, or whatever. Not not necessarily an hour, twenty minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, whatever it takes for all your equipment to cycle and make sure that nothing's coming on, producing life. It's really important. You don't want Hermes. You don't want to. You don't want to cause more issues. So appreciate you watching.